Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by for another video and I hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, I wanted to take a few minutes and uh, take a look at the use of vertical fonts in Lightburn. And we'll compare uh, some standard fonts, Arial and Calibri, see how they look in a vertical position, and then we'll download a font that will make it look much better. So first, turn your caps lock on. Uh, you always want to have it on for vertical fonts, vertical text. And then go over and grab your text tool. And just type an A. And then click, or whatever letter you want to type. And then click your selector tool. And remember, you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. Push down and move the entire canvas around. Uh, so you want to right click on that A and click Edit Text Shape and you'll get this pop up. Just click to the right of your A, Enter and type out whatever, whatever you would like. And you can see but there's a lot of extra space in here that you wouldn't want. And you could correct that by going back to Edit Text Shape. And on the vertical space, you can reduce that space as much as you would like. But still, your letters would not look right, especially if you're making a large sign like a welcome sign or something like that. Uh, let's grab a draggable line and you can see that it touches the A but it doesn't touch anything else so you know they're not even and let's change the color of this so it shows up better just make it red okay let's do the same thing with Calibri and the letters are the same height 25 So type your C, click your selector tool, we'll make that a different color, right click, edit text shape, and then start hitting enter and typing. And I turned off my caps lock. And we will pull this one down. We'll right click and go back to Edit Text Shape. And you can see that the space was already set for negative 22. And it wants us to go more for it to look somewhat usable. But it's still not really usable. So let's put us a drag line on top right here just to kind of get these in the same spot. We'll grab another drag line over here. And you can see it touches, it touches the A and the O but nothing else. Uh, so there is a guy named uh, David Jonathan Ross I believe. And he has a website. We're going to go look at it. And you can download Bungie fonts. And these are for commercial use. Uh, they're released under the open font license. And if you really want to know the history, you can go to the left on this website and you can see that uh, he kind of done it as a, a throwback to the old signage you would see on drugstores and uh, other establishments. So I downloaded right here on the top, download now. And if you do that, and then go to your download folder, you will get your Bungie zips, uh, Bungie font zip file. Just right click, extract it with whatever tool you have for extraction. You'll get this folder. 
And then you have basic, desktop, and web. So I went to the basic, and I went to Bungie Regular and installed that. So when you pick out the one you want, you right click and just install, and it'll be made available to uh, Lightburn. Because Lightburn doesn't actually come with any fonts, it just inherits whatever you already have on your computer. So um, it's good to know what you've downloaded that has a uh, commercial license. Uh, so uh, you don't go using a font that you're going to hear from somebody later that you used it incorrectly. Okay, so now let's get our text tool back. Click up here. We will go grab Bungie, maybe. I thought I saw it. There it is. So like I said, I downloaded the Bungie regular. Uh, which is what you'll find on, uh, if you go to a website that only has one bungee, chances are it will be the, uh, the regular. But they have inline, outline, color, a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so now you want to select that. Right click, edit text shape, and do the same thing right here. To the right, and then... And just type out what you want. And you can see there's a lot of space between these. We'll pull them down. We'll right click and go back to edit text shape. And we will keep reducing this to get it to where we would want it to be. And if we pull us a drag line, we'll pull two of them in this case, you can see that every letter touches. The F's off a hair, but we can live with that. So if you make a, uh, if you make a especially a large uh, vertical sign, uh, you don't want your letters to look weird. Uh, even smaller ones you don't want. But you can see the letters touch on both sides. And this is the preferred font for vertical uh, signage. And uh, just for using vertically for whatever project you're working on. But it can also be used horizontally. So as a side note, these drag lines... Uh, were added in version 1.5 and I've got a recent video uh, talking about alignment tools so I'll drop a link to that down in the description and if you get a chance check it out if you have questions just let me know so let's install another bungee font and uh, see what that looks like we will try the inline so you just right click and install. There it goes. And this should be available immediately. Let's grab the text tool. Go up and find it. And it's right here. We'll see what this looks like. So we'll type another B. Click the selector tool. And we'll make it black, right click, edit text shape, and we will do the same thing. So even though I typed a lowercase b, because sometimes, like I told you to keep your caps lock on, sometimes I forget to do what I say. And I typed lowercase, but at least we, we figured this out together. So if you forget, looks like Bungie does not. And sometimes it's good to have somebody looking out for you. We'll call this Bungie Inline. 
I'll get it. Y'all stick with me. All right. Let's close this space up a little bit more. Grab it and pull it down and see what it looks like. That looks pretty good. I like this. So that uh, David Jonathan Ross fella, I guess he's got a big brain on him too. Just going to pull this in a little closer. All right. There we are. All right, folks. I've played long enough. Uh, so you can uh, you can go out, download these, install them, and give them a try. Have fun with it. Uh, I really appreciate you folks taking time to watch. And uh, it does help the channel grow. So just check back often for new videos. And if you have any questions about this or anything we have posted, just let me know in the comments, and I will do my best to get you an answer. So y'all take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.